Hello everybody. Uh, just um, continuing our you know session about the autistic spectrum disorder. Uh, this is the session two. As uh, I mentioned in the session one uh, last week, that this is to increase the awareness about autistic spectrum disorder. And uh, as a pediatrician, and I'm working now with these children, so I thought it is important to increase the awareness about it. So. As a result that to, for the continuation, I'm going to tell you something, uh, a little bit of summary of the first session where we tell that uh, this disorder affects the way people communicate with and relate with other people. Um, so that is the reason and uh, we have to know and uh, so that we can help them and that is, uh, you know, and um, we can help them and also these of the children's uh, they can be so bright in the future so we should uh, help in this way uh, so that um, it would be you know beneficial for everyone uh, for the carer and also for the children's all and um, that is the reason um, it is you know severity can vary for the different uh, you know type uh, in the children uh, it can be in a different way it can present uh, all the features may not be present everyone but uh, the symptoms that I mentioned main thing is social difficulty uh, that you know not being able to get on with people that is one of the thing problem with the language and communication that is another difficulties they can have uh, they actually not that difficulty in communicating with other pe person that is another thing and uh, they can have limited imagination and uh, some of the uh, unusual behavior uh, like you know you can see that this repeating over and over same action again obsessions and all it's like these things can also and also sometimes uh, three in ten uh, cases uh, seizure or epilepsy can occur um, so basically it can be during the puberty time the first time you can notice that it may not be present initially so how common it is around one in hundred children can has autistic spectrum disorder boys are four times more likely uh, than the girls and uh, what are the causes it's really uh, we not know there is some evidence that uh, it may be passed down in the family. So when we uh, discuss with the parents, we always ask whether in the family there is anything, uh, any history of uh, similar thing is there or not. Um, uh, some uh, There are some conditions where, you know, uh, this autistic spectrum disorder is common, like Down syndrome, you know, that is other things. So we just have to look up this, these things, whether there is any other um, things that they are related um, like this. Um, so basically how the autistic spectrum disorder we diagnose, basically uh, that, you know, there will be different, uh, you know, uh, things that uh, series of health check, whether it's developing normally. Um, so basically the concern may arise from the parents or maybe from the school or you know any of this you know the social interactions wise there should be some concern uh, so basically you can you, as a parent if you see this is a, you know some concern regarding communications interactions and things like that you can raise it or school usually they when observe your child uh, they can raise that concern and uh, basically uh, then they are referred and uh, uh, in the developmental clinic uh, if there is this concern that uh, we find that is really uh, yes and um, these are the concern we have to again properly assess them then they get an appointment and uh, after that in the first appointment what we usually do thoroughly goes through you know every step of the development how you uh, you know at the front from the from the concern means what are the main concern from the school or from the uh, parents and after that development from very early you know development is detailing and also we observe the uh, child um, during the interaction how uh, 
he or she is interacting in that way first assessment was done um so basically after that uh, if it's really suggestive some of the features or if there is even subtle things that may be worrying um then we uh, have to send refer them to autistic you know uh, um, spectrum disorder assessment panel so there's multi specialties are involved there and they very minutely test different ways uh, to you know finalize whether uh, that child has anything like autistic spectrum disorder or not um so blood test is not a usual unless you know if we think in the clinical examination wise some other condition may lead to this so that time autistic you know in that case uh, we can suggest uh, that uh, you know doctors and our you know specialist they can suggest that um now what are the treatment that is are uh, basically will be under different specialties it is a multi specialty um you know team they are involved uh, with the care they offer support and um, there may be the school uh, that speech language therapist who are very good in you know this uh, helping occupational therapist educational psychologist uh basically main thing is that uh, school special educational support to help in this with social skill communication skill and uh, language skill um decide uh, how to you know basically support them these children and uh, behavioral therapy you know um, that reduce the bad behaviors promote good behavior uh actually not always medication but sleep problem may be that in that case medication may be you know if there is other psychological issues are there then medication can be related it is not that medication can you know fix it but if it is uh, supporting their problems if that is needed then um, and of course uh, uh, it is important to know there is no cure of this uh, autistic spectrum and the specialist education and support to maximize the potential of each child to uh, you know as they grow into adults um earlier it is started better will be the outcome um so basically thing you have to know about uh, what is the outlook it is the a lifelong condition um severity can um vary and very very difficult to tell that this child will do these things or things like that and um very 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 difficult you know initially so all these teams work together to maximize the potential um so uh, some of the adults uh, can manage to work get into uh, get by with just a little support um so basically mainly that particular group called asperger syndrome they can uh, manage very well life independently however very severe cases in that that can need substantial support um so basically it is uh, depends and varies in different ways so this is a little basic things i wanted to tell you about uh, the autism and uh, later on uh, the next session i think we will be continuing how to support how different way uh, the things carers can be getting the supports in this way uh, we will continue the session thank you for listening to uh, me and um hopefully it will be helpful for all and we can uh, support uh, this um you know together um this um autistic autistic spectrum disorder thank you so much